Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with another beauty. This is a 1996 Harley Davidson Dyna Wide Glide and this is a scratch and dent special. And this one is a scratch and dent special. It absolutely has scratches and dents. That's not to say there's some good things about the bike, but overall I'm going to start with the top. You can see the gas tank. It's got a pretty big wrinkle in it. The Jack Daniels air cleaner looks perfect. It's got a nice Arlen S oil pressure gauge. The pipes are wrapped, but you can see right here where it's kind of rubbing through. It's missing the timer cover. The saddlebags look like they've been wet a few times and hung out to dry. They're pretty warped. The seat has a hole right here, a split right here in the middle, and then right here by the passenger area, it's also split. The back fender looks to be in good shape. It's got a Harley Davidson bobtail luggage rack. The Michelin tires are actually excellent on this bike. They look pretty close to new. The rear brake rotor is kind of dark and dingy. And we don't know the miles on this bike. It shows 62.1 on the trip odometer but the button where you reset it is missing so we don't know we don't know how many miles if it's got 20,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 we're gonna sell it as true miles unknown scratch and dent special it's got a dent right here in the gas cap you can see and you can see the wear on the buttons so I'm gonna guess it's probably got you know 30 or 40,000 miles the left side of the bike looks good there's some dents right here Right there on the side, we got the uh, old number seven right there on the derby cover, and this does have a leak on the derby side. Also, it's got the dark series cover right there. I think that's the right there by where the coil cover is. It's got the uh, chrome rubber banded foot pegs, the whole set. And you can see some rub, rub marks there on the shifter, which kind of further indicates the miles. You can see a little bit of leaking going on here by the rear base gasket. And when it sits overnight, it has a, a leak right here. Yeah, you can see a little drip right there. But the primary does have a, a leak. We're selling it as is. We're not going to wash it. We're not going to service it. We're not going to change the oil. Basically, what you see is what you get. I'm going to start it up. I just rode it here. It actually runs pretty good. I'm going to say the carburation needs to be adjusted. To go with the drag pipes it won't start from the conventional button up here it has a start button right down here just like the old school shovel head bikes let's start her up basically got to push that button it bypasses the switch that's up on the handlebars But I think it's got a little bit of an intake air leak because it'll pop in the carburetor like it's lean. I call it a lean pop. So it probably needs a gasket on the intake, which is pretty minor. And then maybe rejet the carburetor. Because it'll run through the gears and run good. The blinkers work, but it'll sit there and pop in a minute and it'll die. But it just needs some fresh fuel and needs to be ridden. It's also got a lens cover missing off the rear blinker. The blinkers do work, however. I'll show you this left one. It's got good tires. So basically you got a dented gas tank, a torn seat, a primary oil leak that's pretty minor, but it, I just want to tell you about it because I've seen it. Rear base gasket is starting to seep just a little bit. But it's a wide glide. If you're on a budget, or you got a friend that's a painter, and you don't mind doing a little, little bit of lightweight mechanical work, it's really a great bike for the money. It's actually a pretty good looking bike. Another, another look at that, that dent right there. It's actually not dying right now, but it will here in a minute, I can assure you. Maybe just take these saddlebags off Get the seat recovered. Get a turn signal lens cover for that left side. And really, you got your pretty good motorcycle for the money. Well, we thank you for looking. We thank
thank you for your time. If you have any questions, give us a call on this Scratch and Dent 1996 Harley Davidson Dyna Wide Glide. Give us a call. It's a good bike for the money. If you don't mind a few little bumps and bruises, again, if you got a friend that's a painter or you want to paint it yourself, do a little carb adjusting, put a little intake seal in it, fix the primary leak, and you got your pretty good bike. And again, we don't know the miles, so we're selling it as true miles unknown. Have a great day. This is Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.